What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there? Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. I got to talk to y'all about Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence Jr. Shout out to both of these fighters. They're going to give us a hell of a fight. Now, when it comes to this situation, I believe ain't no way in the world Keith Thurman is going to lose this fight. It's too much on the line for him. It's too much for Keith Thurman to want to climb his way back up to the top by beating Errol Spence Jr., the guy that got the three titles at welterweight. You know, one thing we gotta, I gotta bring out first is that people keep mentioning body attack. Body attack, Errol gonna beat him with a body attack, body attack. If y'all are out there keep mentioning one thing, one thing that Errol Spence can do to beat Keith Thurman, then that should let you know that he's limited. Which I always say, people get mad at it. he's one dimensional. I say that all the time. Throughout this process of us finding out that he is the mandatory, I mean, where they didn't, you know, made him mandatory for Errol Spence's belt. All I keep hearing, body attack, body attack, body attack. That's nothing. Keith Thurman does not have to stand there in the pocket or stand in front of Errol Spence Jr. for him to keep hitting him in his body. True, Keith Thurman has been hurt from body shots before. We understand it. Has Keith Thurman ever been stopped by a body shot? Did anybody ever, ever beat Keith Thurman from a body shot. No. So why do people keep going out here saying that Errol Spence is just going to stop Keith Thurman just because of body attack? Y'all ain't realizing that once you say that, you have already limited Errol Spence Jr. For one, let's talk about this. Errol Spence Jr. ain't knocked out nobody in a, in a good little minute. In a good little minute. So shout out to Tim Bradley. I hear Tim Bradley out there saying, you know, he going to Stop them, you know, to the body and all this. And uh, hey, y'all, stop saying that, cause y'all, y'all, y'all self is telling on Errol Spence, letting the public out here know that he's one dimensional. But when people say that, y'all get mad. Y'all ain't say, oh, the power of Errol. Errol, no, y'all keep talking about the body attack. Keith is not gonna stand there with him. Y'all got to remember who y'all talking about when it comes to Keith Thurman. All right. Remember who y'all talking about when it comes to Keith Thurman. This is man I always tell y'all fought with a hematoma. Get hit in the body, come back, can adapt, lose in fights, come back and win. Go check out the uh, Diego Chavez fight. And hell, check out many other of his fights, even in the Manny Pacquiao. He was losing that fight. That, that fight actually could have been a draw, but due to the fact of it being Manny Pacquiao, of course they gone, you know, lean over towards Manny Pacquiao, plus the knockdown he had, which made it look even better. But that fight could have went either way, literally. But Keith Thurman is not going to lose to Errol Spence. He has more in his arsenal than most of the fighters that Errol Spence has fought. Kell Brook didn't have footwork for real. Sean Porter doesn't have footwork for real or power. Danny Garcia didn't have footwork for real or power. Why? Because he was moving up from 140, remember? That's why Dan Danny Garcia been beating, getting beat up since he was at 147. Everybody didn't beat Danny Garcia, all right? All the head guys at 147. Yugis. Yugis don't have footwork. Yugis don't have punching power like that. So y'all are talking and saying things, but y'all forgetting the past opponents and who Keith Thurman is. Keith Thurman is a mover with an orthodox style. Okay? With power. He does not have to stand there and get attacked by Errol Spence. I don't know what y'all expecting. Y'all may be expecting is the Yugis fight again for Errol, I mean, Keith Thurman just to stand there and get punched in the body. That, that's not how Keith Thurman fights, y'all. I'm sorry to tell y'all. I respect Errol Spence Jr. He's a hell of a fighter, but I don't see him beating Keith Thurman. This is the same fighter who said, uh, Keith Thurman talked too much. I ain't studying. I don't want to fight Keith Thurman. He talked too much. That was the same thing George Foreman said before Ali beat him. You look it up if you think I'm telling you a story. There's no way possible Keith Thurman is going to go out here and, and just skill set alone, moving around the ring, power. Keith Thurman can box. Same way like Tamer. Not exactly the same. And Tamer are totally different. They're not the same fighter. But he can box, move around the ring, and has power too. So I don't see how people are just sitting out there saying that Errol Spence is going to dominate Keith Thurman like that. Keith Thurman is coming better than he was. Uh, not any injuries. Good shape. 
Matter of fact, Keith Thurman is already in shape for this fight, if y'all ain't seen already. We got to deal with the fact of, let's be real, a fighter who says he, has a, he had an eye injury recently, a fighter who had a car crash recently, a fighter that we have seen stay drunk. Remember, we just seen a girlfriend and him on the couch when he was drunk. So y'all think that that fighter can just go out there and bulldoze through a Keith Thurman like that. Y'all crazy out here. Keith Thurman is not going to lose this fight. He's not going to lose. Y'all forgetting everything else behind what go on behind the scenes. This boy had car crashes, eye injuries, drinking heavily. Not to bash Errol Spence because this is a grown man. He can do whatever he wants. He got enough money to. I salute you, Errol. But we talking about boxing. And in boxing, you can't be doing all that. So when it comes to it, who really, who's physically in more damage in this fight? Errol Spence Jr. is. Who's going to be better well in shape? Well, not in shape, but not coming off injuries, not coming off anything hurting them in the last fight. Who's going to come in full throttle for this fight? Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is going to beat Errol Spence Jr. I don't know if it's going to be by knockout, probably by knockout. I told y'all, Errol Spence got hella defense. He got hella defense. Uh, can't hit him for real unless he opening up. Keith Thurman is not a fighter who's scared to get hit. Keith Thurman ain't scared to get hit. What other opponents you know and has power and can catch Errol opening up and hurt him? Which of y'all thinking... Oh, I'm just talking. Go back and watch Larte versus Spence. Watch Larte versus Spence. Now, has Spence become a better fighter? Yes. That was that was when he was 15, 14, 13, and all. Okay, yeah, we understand that. But look at how he got in, hurt. Opening up. Respect to these fighters, y'all. Respect to Keith Thurman. Respect to Errol Spence Jr., but he's not going to beat Keith Thurman. It's too much on the line. This is the fight that will bring Keith Thurman back into the limelight. And y'all, he already in shape, y'all. Which I'm sure Arrow is too because he was preparing for the uh, Terrence Crawford fight. But this is not Terrence Crawford. This is an unorthodox, powerful Keith Thurman coming back. Ain't got no injuries. Ain't coming off no injuries from no last fight or nothing. He'd had time to heal and all that. Y'all crazy for sitting up here even thinking. Remember, you is... Ryugas with no power for real shook him up twice. Twice. Not once, but twice. Keith Thurman with power and to me a better all-around fighter than Yugis. And y'all saying he just gonna run through him. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, may the best man win. Shout out to both of them. Uh, Arrow a hell of a fighter. Keith a better a hell of a fighter. And I just think, plus Keith, my boy, Plus, Keith, my boy, I just think Keith going to come out on top in this fight. There's no way he going to lose this fight. No way. No way. Uh, we haven't seen Errol Spence go through, you know, the 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 situations in the ring that Keith Thurman have, has been able to adapt and still come out on top. We didn't see Keith Thurman go through everything to come out there and win. Have we seen Errol? No. No, we have not. So y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section. Remember what I said. Y'all already limited Errol Spence by keeping just talking about the body attack. Oh, body attack. That, that's all he got? Yeah. Besides that jab? Yeah. <laughs> this is Easy Work Boxing, man. Y'all hit that like button, please. Uh, y'all subscribe to the channel. I thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. This your boy Easy. I'm out, baby.